This is problem number six from the section 2.1 homework. Again, I'm going to work it twice. Once the way that's probably easiest and once the way that they're showing you in view an example and help me solve this. This is gonna happen occasionally where we do different methods. Um, don't let that panic you. If you have questions about it, just contact me and I'll make sure to make it clear like I'm about to do now. The problem that it gave me is six over seven divided by three over 14. Now the rule for dividing fractions is you keep the first one, change it to multiplication, and then flip the second one. And this step is actually going to be the same no matter which approach you take to this. So I'll go ahead and write it twice. Okay, now the way we talked about fraction multiplication in the fraction review is yes, you can multiply straight across and then reduce, but with multiplication and multiplication alone, you can reduce before you multiply. You reduce on the diagonals. Here I have a six and a three. Both of these numbers are divisible by three. If I divide this by three, I get a one. Six divided by three is a two. Now on the other diagonal, I have a seven and a 14. Both of these numbers are divisible by seven. If I divide this by seven, I get a one. 14 divided by seven is a two. Now let's multiply straight across with what we have left. We have two times two over one times one, which is four over one, which is simply four. So four is my answer. Now, how did they do it here? They changed it from division into the multiplication by changing it to multiplication and flipping the second one. And then they multiplied straight across. Six times 14 is 84. Seven times three is 21. Now, if you went to your calculator and you just did the division, you would get four. But let's say you didn't recognize that or you didn't, didn't do that. And I'm thinking it's just a fraction that I want to reduce. Well, I want to find a number that divides evenly into both of them. Okay, well, I look at 84 and 21, and 24 I kind of know. I know it's divisible by three and seven. Threes are fairly easy. Remember, all you have to do is you add up the digits. Eight plus four is 12. Does three divide evenly into 12? Yes, so three divides evenly into 84. Okay, now 21, of course, is also divisible by three, but if we didn't know it, two plus one is three, and three divides into three. Look here, after you add these together, I got 12. If I still was not sure if three divided into this number, I could add the digits together again and get there. So what I'm gonna do, anyway, I know they're both divisible by three. So let's divide both by three and see what we get. Well, 84 divided by three is 28. 21 divided by three is seven. Now, hopefully you recognize that this is 28 divided by seven, which is four. But even if you don't, you would look at this to see if it's in lowest terms. And you'd say, well, they're both divisible by seven. I'm rewriting it here. If I divide both by seven, then I get four over one, which is just four. You can approach it either way. You might even eventually sometimes find yourself using both. You start to cancel things out and maybe you think you've got it all done, but you didn't really, so you do it this other way.